neighborhood by neighborhood, building by building, street by street. We know that it is important for us not to leave anybody behind. Well, listen, back to the Northwest. In so many ways, this is the best of Team Toronto. This is everybody coming together from the city to public health, from our healthcare partners like Humber to York University and the Aviva Centre with Tennis Canada. This is truly something special. That's the Toronto way. We want to make sure that folks in Toronto up in this community are able to get equitable access to vaccines. We know that accessibility and actually getting people to vaccine locations can be a huge barrier. And it's just a great way of making sure that people have the best and easiest access to vaccines. The pharmacy team arrived two hours early to start drawing up the medication, preparing it for today's event. It's a short trip in here and a short trip out. It is a fast system to get them in and out. Their maximum time here is about 30 minutes and they're on to their day. Like I said, even with the TTC, those folks will come in, get vaccinated, be back on the bus and back to the homes within an hour. The folks at Tennis Canada uh, have stepped up and they are going to be giving away a thousand tickets to the 2022 National Bank Open, which is our kind of national open tennis championship. It takes place right here and we will have some comfort dogs here from the Lions Club because we're just trying to make this as comfortable uh, and as easy an experience as possible. The team came together two weeks ago and it was on uh, Humber River that decided they wanted to do this. They said they had a good connection with York and this is where it all came together. We do a lot of community outreach, we use community ambassadors who are leaders in the community, who know the communities well, who live in the area, who speak the languages. We have community ambassadors that speak over 12 different languages so that they connect with different communities and really kind of talk to them about their vaccine concerns. So it's really important when we're working in the Northwest Toronto to make sure that we're doing really very, very intricate community outreach. So there is a combination of appointments and walk-ins that's available as well for people. So that's really great to support with different and reducing the barriers for access to vaccine. Very easy. Dogs were here. They had toys for the kids. How'd it go? Great. We know how important it is for people to have access to vaccination in their community. And York University is really just thrilled that we're part of this today. I want to thank all of my team. Thank you Team Toronto and thank you Team Ontario for rolling up your sleeves. I mean, this is the best of our community coming together to reach those that want to get immunized but maybe face barriers to getting it. So thank you for stepping up. Thank you to our volunteers, our hospital partners, to the mayor and our entire council for leading in our country and in the world and getting families immunized. A big thank you to our partners. We put this together in under two weeks and all the teams came together and said, how can we help? 